Howdy. Hey. There he is. It's Good evening, face. sir. Hello. I was Jimmy's face drop one time. Was Better than his jock strap. I'm gonna be supportive. Good evening, weirdos. Welcome to another edition of Living Cruddy with Cruddy Joe. I am the titular Cruddy Joe, and I'm here with the rest of the Get Along gang. We got Hanson, Jimmy Hanson, and we have even more handsome Gene Coffinberry. And with us is our very special guest, the second most popular troll in Middle Tennessee, Guffle Mouse Trayman. How are you, sir? Uh, I'm doing good, but I'd like to know who the first most popular troll is. Uh, the first most popular troll is actually Ragnar, who is a mountain troll who lives uh, over in the Bellevue area. Really? And the only reason he's more popular is because of a leaked sex tape between himself and Kim Kardashian, so <laughs> I don't think that counts. I don't think that's fair. First off, whenever I have had relations with uh, anyone, it has ended very badly. My organ has teeth. It's not gonna work out. <laughs> What's it like walking around with a Woody all the time? It's hard. Indeed. God damn it, Gene, we just told you not to talk over other people. And I gotta stop looking around. I got a sheet of paper that has nothing on it. Looking at it like, hey, I got some notes here. There's no notes. There's nothing. I gotta look like I'm looking for something. In my case, that's called ADD. Look at it. Gotta do it again five times. Then I've got to play the keyboard. That's Stop. right. All right. So this week we have Scuffle Moss treatment. Uh, Scuffle Moss is a guy we started noticing around. 72. It was 2017. I kind of didn't know what was going on. I just saw a troll. We were like, what, what, what's up with the troll? And nobody had an answer. <laughs> We were probably too scared to go up and ask. <laughs> I, I actually remember it was at, what was that place, The Block, playing for a Christmas Halloween show. And that was the very first time that I ever got to go out. To yeah, that was the first time I got to go out of the garage. You know, seeing the creeping crud, yo. <laughs> it was a big thing for me. Honestly, I love the cruds. Awesome. Great bond. At that show, I remember two things. There was a troll there, and I remember it was fucking freezing. So where do you come from originally? Gopher moss comes from, but I came from a forest in Europe, very far away, at the border of Russia and Germany. Yeah, I was going to say somewhere near Germany, because I noticed you, you use some German words. Yeah, I don't really know German. I just grew up there. I heard a couple of humans saying stuff. It was like, oh, that word means something. <laughs> yeah. I speak English better. You want to talk in Japanese? I could do Japanese. <laughs> the the, the dayo at the part, so pretty much it's like big... F. So basically, you are not born and bred in Murfreesboro. No. So how did you end up in Middle Tennessee, of all places? I mean, I know it's everyone's dream to migrate to Middle Tennessee. Uh, apparently, it's everyone's dream to be in Middle Tennessee at this point. The way that I got here was in a crate of hamburger bun. Uh, <laughs> there, there was this, um, this factory that the forest edged out on. And I went out being chased by a wasp, of all things. And I found a big crate full of these soft rocks which I later found out were bun. So I went in, I ate a few, and I fell asleep. Then next thing I know, I'm in America. So I ran into the forest and I hid there for a long time. Which forest? Are you familiar with the forest around Columbia? Sherwood? Yeah. Sherwood Forest. Yeah. So I stayed in there for like a few decades. I, I came across this, um, this house. There were people there, they were putting up scary decorations. And uh, they asked Scofflemoth, Hey, you want to be part of our hunt? Because I didn't speak very much English then. So they paid me in bun for about a month or so. Uh, and then I got bored of scaring people. I didn't like scaring people. So I set out. I left there. And right after I left there, I got hit with a car. Oh shit. So I think the question all the other bun aficionados want to know coming from the bun expert is what is the best bun? The best bun is uh -huh. sourdough. What do you think, Jimmy? I can get behind sourdough. sourdough. Definitely. It's good with butter. It's good mm -hmm. with cheese. It's good with meat. It's a perfect dough. What's the name of that bread place out in San Francisco? <laughs> It's like a, you know what I'm talking about, Jimmy, the, it's like a, a sourdough place. Boudin. Oh, that's it? That's the place? Yeah, Boudin Sour. Boudin. 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 Man, that place is good. Eat bread. You're not allowed to participate in this conversation, well, Jimmy. I was in San Francisco. I could eat it. And I'd get sick <laughs> every time I go to that town. It's too much good food. Gene, are, are you on the keto diet? I just limit gluten if I can. If I can. No gluten. I got you. Uh, I've been participating in a keto diet recently. And, uh, uh, 
I'm a little low on the bun consumption right now. So what, what, what does a troll normally eat? Does it involve rats and slugs and things? or Grub and leaves. And whatever I could find on the forest floor. Acorns? Well, no, that's like, maybe acorns would be a little cannibalistic. Oh, uh, well, okay. Uh, I got the level with you. While I look like I'm squishy. So while running around the forest, do you ever come across uh, a wild batch of D's? D's nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it, but uh, really, I wanted to see buns. I like music. I love life, especially when people put a lot of effort into it. And that's why I like the cruds. You guys put a lot of effort into your music. I like to sing. I like to sing Disney songs. So I wanted to form a bond that wouldn't do any of them. Who then started because I did want to make a bond. And we were gonna be a metal bond. But it didn't turn out that way. Turns out I like rock. So we're going on a year and a half. We're hoping to make it to the end of this year year uh, and release a new album or something. Gene, I'm trying to get Gene to open back the cruds up. Why won't he the open cruds the cruds? Up. Open up the crud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad somebody's excited about it. You're very important. Yo, we don't want a dead gene. You guys want to operate with a, you know, an alternative? No, thanks. Well, although, I, I would say Zopi would make an excellent replacement. <laughs> Zombie gene? Yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you have already. <laughs> Let me oh. ask you the most important question. Have you ever worked at the Tower Records in Nashville? <laughs> no. 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 Oh. What is your favorite venue to attend to watch music? I really I really like the pond. I want to play the pond again. I also really like media rerun. I like John Judkins. I think he's a great person and I find that he has cultivated a great place to play music. I like the exit. It has a balcony. I can sit down. My legs hurt. Right. I don't even know what exists anymore and who knows what will when all this shit is said and done. Apparently it smells like a corpse in there all the time. So no one's going in. No one will go. I like the pond for two great reasons. You can load right in. It's like literally a mile from my house. The, the day of driving, you know, like these bowling green trips, those are the ones that drive me crazy. The older you get, the less you like that stuff. Uh, I already don't like it. And <laughs> most importantly, I can attend at the pond. Yes. Okay, you son of a bitch. For some ungodly reason this week, Joe has decided that he wants to go with some uh, Shogun movies this week. Martial oh. arts movies, he means. I, I like horror films, of course. Probably my favorite is got to be Army of Darkness. I mean, the first horror or a film that I fell in love with was uh, Halloween. One of my favorites, if not my favorite. I, I love John Carpenter's work uh, in all of his films, really. He does a great job. Yeah, he's great. Up to a point, he stopped making great movies in, sometime in the 90s, I think. But That's true. In the 70s and 80s, he was great. And then something happened. He made that Village of the Dam remake, and uh, <laughs> then, then he lost his mind after that. Well, he's never going to live up to Memoirs of an Invisible Man again. That or a vampire. So, oh, my God. What about martial arts movies? Oh. Once again, I got to go with the comedy Kung Pao. For real, drunken master. We haven't talked to Jimmy about if he likes martial arts movies. Who, me? Do you see any other Jimmys here? Sometimes you hide them. Arts movies. I do enjoy them. Porn? I do tend to uh, gravitate towards science fiction, as you know, Jimmy. Aside from sci-fi with the name Star in it. Oh, I don't know. Star. So it's strictly Star Wars and that one Star Trek movie. Okay, so does Alien count? Yes, yes. Okay, then yes. Alien. I mean, that covers both sci-fi and horror. Alien is the perfect movie, basically. It is. I, yeah. I even like the sequels. The first sequel is good, but I, I don't buy the argument that it is better than the first one. No, and it's an action movie. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's totally a different kind of... It is, yo. Now, if you're talking about the greatest fantasy slash alternate universe movie of all time, I think we obviously all agree that that is Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. Or that movie Roid House. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the, the thing, near perfect movie, almost. And, you know, we have to give a moment of silence for Blair, who just passed away this week. No, all joking aside, he didn't die from diabetes, right? He said he didn't have pants on. I just saw him. He had a belt on, too. How's beef with Winslow? I'm half deaf. Where's your dog? You, you, I thought you were making another D's nuts joke. I don't have nuts. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a Woody. <laughs> What's the first movie you owned, and uh, what medium was it? Toy Story 2 on DVD. Nice. What decade are we living in? <laughs> <laughs> I was like 50 years old when that movie came out. One of these days, I'm going to get Toy Story 2. <laughs> what are your primary musical influences? 
My primary musical influences. First off, Queen, Freddie Mercury, Coheed and Cambria. I really like Zio and Ardor. They are a black metal band. Andrew WK, also Guar. Oh, should I also say the Backstreet Boys? <laughs> <laughs> hey, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> no Molly Hatchet? <laughs> oh, oh, I like Ringgrass and Tide Tide. Oh, that is the outlaws. <laughs> That takes us to the part of the evening where we do a, a couple quizzes. Uh, the first quiz we do is a music quiz. I'll recite a couple lines. Your job is to tell me what the next line is, the name of the song, and the name of the band. Okay, I'll try. Are you ready? Yeah. The lyric is, there's trouble in the forest. The creatures all have fled. The maples scream oppression. Would the oaks just shake their heads? And the oaks just shake their heads. <laughs> yes! Yeah, nailed it. I want to congratulate you, but I hate Rush. So it goes oh. against everything I believe in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's the first one to get it. All right. No. <laughs> Big winner. Rush. Let's make sure he gets a uh, Cruddy Joe t-shirt when the new ones are here. And you get a date with Jimmy Hansen to go see Rush in concert. That's where <laughs> I get to be his jockstrap. <laughs> Living in the limelight, the universal dream. <laughs> 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 the second and third one are both movie quotes. Triple crown, we call it. Triple crown. Nobody's done it so far. The easy quote from a movie, name the movie, name the character. Okay. Uh, because this quote has a character's name in it, I will leave the name out. Or it's the trees. You know, don't you see? The trees are alive. I feel like it's... Uh... Lord of the Rings. No, no, that's a good guess. Let me give it to you with the name in it. It's the trees, Ash. They know, don't you see? Ash, the trees are alive. Oh. I'll, I'll, right off the bat, I'll tell you, I don't know, know the name of the character, but I want to say it's Evil Dead. It is the Evil Dead, and the character's name is Scott. Scott. Yeah, I wouldn't talk about that. Oh, and for what it's worth, which is nothing, I knew it was Evil Dead. Just wanted to say that for my own credit. You get the half point, too. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give you a half point, too, Joe. Years ago, went out to the Evil Dead cabin and got some bricks and got every person from that movie to sign these bricks. But this guy, Hal Delrick, was never around. Well, he ended up at this one. Horror Hound or something? Yeah, it was Horror Hound. I had dragged that brick up there for him to sign to have the full five names. The guy that probably counts the least, Scotty. He wouldn't sign it. He was like, this is bullshit. These are not not real autographs. <laughs> I'm like, you're out of your fucking mind, man. I've got every one of these guys. I went to Canada to get Bruce Campbell. And he was like, no, I don't believe it. Finally, you know, he was disputing that the autograph did not look like the real ones. It doesn't make sense that I would forge all these autographs so I could get Hal Delrick. <laughs> the scheme you had working there. Yeah, would... Technically the harder one. I wouldn't even get this one. The quote from the movie is, I'm a mean mother from outer space and I'm bad. Can you name the movie and the character? I got it. What you got, Joe? Little Shop of Horrors, Audrey 2. You got it. Ooh, I want it a Buddy Joe shirt. I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I ask you a question, but before you answer, we go around the room and we try to guess what you're going to say. What celebrity would you most like to do? Who do you think that is, James? Oh, I think it's obvious. Jessica Tandy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. No. I see a wild hey. streak in Scuffle Moss, so I'm going to say Wendy O. Williams. I'm going to go with uh, Robert Plant. See what he did there? <laughs> when you say do, what are you talking about? That thing. Okay. You're going to be surprised. It's Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We were surprised. <laughs> He's God's perfect idiot. <laughs> He is pretty. He's a good looking man. He sure is. The next question, which is very similar, we go around the room again. What celebrity would you most like to fight? And we'll go with James first. I think it's Mickey Rourke. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? Elon Musk. <laughs> is it Elon Musk before he hits the blood? <laughs> well, I'm going with Christopher Lee because he burned down Fangorn Forest. Oh. <laughs> oh, but the actual celebrity that I want to punch their face in is Susan Boyle. <laughs> Who's in Boyle? Remember her? That already happened to her, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel vindicated again! <laughs> he needs two points for that one. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little different. The question is, where was Jimmy during last week's film freakout? Oh, I know this already. 
Yeah, but five <laughs> seconds? I was there the whole time! No way. <laughs> All right, one more question, kind of a trivia question. True or false? They say that the road is no place to start a family. I, I would say true. And Steve Perry said it, so it's true. Would this be a good time to tell my uh, Steve Perry story? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. You're holding on to this Steve Perry story for what? For your big cameo, I think. Well, we hadn't even started <laughs> talking about Steve Perry. I think Joe um, brings Steve Perry up every week. It was the year that Aerosmith put out the record with that song lightning strikes. Do you remember that? Jimmy Crespo era when both the guitar players had left the band. The lineup was Brian Adams, Sammy Hagar, Aerosmith, and then the last band was Journey. So my friend and I get in, you know, we get in the car, we drive down to Miami. I had never been to the Miami baseball stadium ever. I had no idea how to get to the entrance or parking, any of that stuff. Uh, we end up in somewhere in Liberty City or some place like that, and we were clearly lost, and the uh, car pulls up right next to us, and the window rolls down, and it's fucking Steve Perry. And he's like, are you guys going to the show? He knew we were going to the show because we were, you know, basically the only rock and roll kids in a uh, bad neighborhood there. So we're like, yeah. And he's like, follow us. My guy is going to get you to the place and we'll get you in through the back. And mind you, I fucking hated Journey. And I was like, oh, this is the way you get like a, a killer ass favor from Steve Perry, who I absolutely <laughs> in high school fucking loathed. I did not like that band. We follow him all through the guy, get things all through downtown, back rows back up, pulls in the front. We pull up behind him at this guard gate somebody from his car sticks their head out the window and it's like hang on we'll get you in as well we get up to the gate and the guys are like ah no <laughs> so <laughs> steve perry can't complete is what you're saying <laughs> i do have one more important question though Please. last time we were at the pond do you remember meeting phyllis Gafamas? Yes. phyllis oh uh, it's it's highly possible if i were to see this person again you'd remember if you saw her phyllis these nuts <laughs> 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 yeah, I know Jimmy met her. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Did you ever find the Entwives or are they still lost? They no longer exist. <laughs> <laughs> if we were to cut you in half, would we count the rings and tell how old you are? I don't know. I haven't cut myself in half to find out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, huh? Do we have a uh, Jimmy's Credit Cuisine this week? Ironically, and I didn't even think about this until tonight when I was coming up here to dial in, I actually made buns oh. on Friday, yeah? My, with my own damn hands, right? I think it was some sort of, something must have been in the ether. I must have been feeling the vibe here. This time around, I was also making homemade pastrami, which is amazing, sitting in brine for 10 days and it was ready so i cooked it i steamed it i'm like well i gotta make buns and they were amazing i used the same bread dough but i used a slightly different proofing technique i washed them in milk and egg and i put some sesame seed on top i formed them amazing with the pastrami it was great that's what i had this weekend i think i have to change my short <laughs> was this brine hand cranked i did hand crank my own brine yes that's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kiss your mother with that mouth no but i kiss your mother with it <laughs> <laughs> Briny Jimmy. Brian. <laughs> Come on, you ever made a uh, brine before? If every other day. Like Brian Eno? Like <laughs> Brian Eno, yes. <laughs> yeah, you can call me Brian Eno. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he had a tongue. Oh my God. I didn't either. And it's not brown. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> So what's going on in the world of Scuffle Moss that you want to promote? We have a acoustic show on August 15th, streamed on Cool Kelly's Compound. It's a Facebook page, but I'm going to share it over to the Wooden page so that uh, it could be watched at the same time. But we're going to be doing acoustic covers to the theme of religion. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get kind of existential here. I'm going to put on an old young chart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the or my brain has termites. <laughs> I've never heard three words together. Yo. This is the first time I've seen that we're allowed to stuff our face while we're having Yeah, it. what's up with that? I didn't get any freaking snack. Oh, yeah, I'm just suddenly hungry. <laughs> Come on over, you can have some. <laughs> Not even food, it's a box full of tacks. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get his iron somehow. <laughs> Well, that's all we got for this week. I want to thank our very special guest, Scuffle Moss Treeman, and our very special guest, Handsome Jimmy Treeman, and uh, the wind beneath my wings, Gino Roy Coffinberry Treeman. <laughs> Everyone have a good night, and... Thank you, Scuffle Moss. Yeah. Hey, hey, I've got one for you. I don't want to play with you anymore. You know where that one's from? It's from Toy Story 2. <laughs> <laughs>